All right, guys, we are live. It is officially time for the finals of the week one qualifier for Sunday, Saturday. Um, as you know, we have three qualifiers and a finals, and they should thankfully mostly be casted. So, um, thankfully, I've got good old Lister Bungie with me here. How are you doing today? Good old Lister Bungie straight back into it. It's uh, good to be back here, Josh. Uh ramping things back up straight in here with this first one of the as you said as of three i know that some people wasn't aware of this but there's got to be another qualifier and it's uh it's, it's looking good yeah definitely looking that way but as you can see we've got uh, a little bit of action here in the bottom side of the map here uh we see lvdf here and darks getting into it pretty early here lvdf losing a lot of hp on most of their players darks playing it a little bit split but as you can see, LVDF, they're playing a little bit defensively. Yeah, they don't look like they've got any weapons. It's uh, smart of them to do as much. If uh, team number six is going to try and... Yeah, they're really trying to chase them out of here. Everyone's scrambling around for any type of weapon there. Just trying to get an angle on them at this point. Yeah, they've got a good bit of damage on there. You see the King Wolf there has lost most of his HP. So if they were to hit a snipe there, they could possibly pull something off. But uh, it's looking like LVDF there is going to get those shields and be able to get uh, blue shields off of that. So could be a little bit of an interesting situation for Darks if they don't expect the uh, blue shield upgrades here. Yeah, it's going to look like they're... They've just split up now. They've just now it's going to look a bit more like I'm actually sure of what we're dealing with of the team comp here. Okay, there we go. We've got Maggie. You're going to stick to this doorway and just still pushing Darks just back to where they're going to have isolated the one player over there. Yeah, LVDF. The Phantom nil. Pretty low. Both to nil. No, no, is that a bow? Could be a bow there. It is a bow. It is a bow. Yeah. There's sort of one member traded there for Darks as well. As they're using this shield as a little bit of uh, cover there. Yeah, they're doing a pretty good job in terms of keeping the pressure high on LVDF so that they couldn't uh, cancel that res. Um, but there's still a couple, uh, at least one player left from LVDF there, and they're going to try to hunt him down there. You see the Phantom Alt coming out to uh, catch up there a bit. It's like they're a little split <clears throat> there, yeah. As well. Let's be able to see if they're going to to get that yeah we actually see that there is another team there creeps gonna be coming in the area of hydro so they might catch out the king wolf here um otherwise they're darks like you said still clearly on the hunt right now and trying to make sure that they can take advantage of this uh, solo player there but as you can see there uh creeps doing a good job of making sure to stay together and not let anything happen They've written themselves right there though into team number two It'd be interesting if they do keep on pushing they're really good in for that arc in this qualifier now kills do count is that right no that's uh so just for the first three weeks it's going to be just uh placement um, basically all you're trying to do there is stay alive and make sure that you make it into the uh, late game there because uh you're based off of placement there and then once we get into the the actual grand finals that's going to be the uh, fourth week there uh, august the 7th you'll have a chance to play with uh, placement and uh and kills there um so Definitely going to be a little bit more intense than uh, our previous uh, qualifiers because teams are going to be playing, um, you know, exactly how they need to. Well, interesting <clears throat> then that Darks decided to push that as uh, as aggressively and perhaps as recklessly as they just did there. We can see that team number two get getting some shots off, and there we go. LVDF are back in the game with the full squad over in the distance as well. Yeah, and we see Darks, they've already sent a player off into the distance, already back in storage base there. So taking a chance to just not have as much of a threat um, in terms of being able to make sure that you can get your team res. They're going back potentially for those shields that they may have rotated over earlier there. And they've already got zones, so they don't really have to necessarily take this fight here. Um, they can just try to find another position here and not have to worry about creeps potentially griefing their game there. Yeah, uh, let's just we take a look at the rest of the map, really. It looks like they're going to be solidly planted on top of there. And looks like Team 8 at the north and Team number 9 are going to be the ones that are sort of close together with HSCEO yep. also coming up behind uh, LD, uh, LVDF as well. Yeah, we have see uh, if they manage to... eyes on LVDF here. They've got a uh, position here where they could get, uh, you know, collapsed onto by HSCEO there. 
Um, only two of the players, actually all three of the players there, we see Marino right above one. So definitely has footsteps on the King Wolf there. Oh, but a beam from the oh. side from Gabriel. But then everyone, of the rest of the team now descending down upon LVDF and it's all going to go down. The Maggie dropped down to the opposite side of everybody else now. Has to not really got an angle anyone. Kind of get off to the right now as the rest of the team pull over there, Josh. Yeah, it definitely seemed like he had a shot, an angle there onto Marita's uh, feet there, but uh, must have not actually seen them there. Uh, but now HSD are doing a good job of regrouping and making sure that they still have a chance to uh, participate in this fight here. Um, going for as many shots as they can. Um, LVDF there, we already see Primus there, already completely disengaged there, and uh, potentially uh, the King will have already done the same there as well. Yeah, HSC uh, look, shows, showing how quickly they thought to get themselves all clumped back together, and now they are splitting off LVDF again as they were in the beginning. A bit of a panicked start for them here. This looks like they're evacuating from that area, and creeps coming up from the south there on them. Yeah, definitely looking like teams taking a chance here to kind of get a lay of the land there and figure out where other teams are. But you see creeps coming in for a potential third party. They might have heard shots earlier there. And it's looking like a Zona game there. Getting a couple opening shots, making sure to do a, a bit of damage here. Um, definitely nice to see a Zona game playing in uh, this cup here. Um, as you may know, he's uh, started his uh, own tournament series in uh, in Europe. So um, great to see that cross-region uh, performance there. Yeah, we just had some today. I think it's the second week of that, and we even better if he manages to rack himself up a win here. HSCEO landing on top of the sponsor box, so it's uh, pretty decent for them. As you said, it's not about the kills in this one. So, oh, some good was that snipes from Marito there out the window on top of creeps there. It does look Taking that way. with an inch of his life. Yeah, probably 166 damage or something like that. Those... Uh... Those bar shots can be a uh, real, real hurt, hurt. They can hurt a lot, and uh, as you can see, it's actually a three, so a three way in terms of action there. Um, Creeps managing to take out Primus Ultra, probably gonna get res there. But uh, in terms of having the three round buildings, every team, everyone, every building having a person on there, uh, just looking to fight and uh, looking to trade those shots. We see HSCO retreating off into the distance there. Shield gets cracked though. Is that Argyle? as well yeah yeah looking mm -hmm. at uh, marito getting cracked there but also trading back onto zona game there um the other team uh lvdf there deciding to disengage so it's still kind of a situation where hsco is kind of looking like they might fight here but i think hsco is probably going to disengage and not because they've already got their box they've already got everything they could probably want from this area so um they're probably not getting a whole lot from fighting creeps here so um disengaging here would not uh, be too surprising they go no Fucked. Okay, two kills for them. It looks like they are descending down upon team number eight. There's this hollow here. Gets the scan of the May shell off there. Just gets some reconnaissance on them and pushes them back into that building. Isolates their, one of their players and the May shell <laughs> stage comes up so he can get knocked back, but he gets hit on top. Yeah, they've trade, managed to trade back their pug. Uh... Even in the engagement there, uh, Hit White getting taken out, Exile also getting taken out there. It's going to be uh, up for uh, Hollow here to get the res off and uh, doing a good coordinated effort there and make sure they get it off together. And uh, also finishing off that player before he has a chance to give up uh, a little bit too much information there. Um, and Exile also getting thirsted. They have an interesting uh, team comp there with the May Shell, the Ember and... The Lucinda, I believe that was. If we look over towards Nova and team number five, HSCEO. Just improving up to a purple there. shield there uh, on Ravenga there. Um, we have also uh, Duhast on the side, trying to rotate in there. They've got all three uh, members alive, I believe. No, they've got one person knocked, uh, I believe, around here based off the map. And uh, we're going to see if uh, Karen X uh, manages to... Uh, avoid HSCO on their push up here or if they're gonna have to worry about uh, anything here <clears throat> this is a uh, chicken dinosaur and goat here from Karen X uh, also known as hollow also known as Phoenix also known as so many other things in uh, the community but uh, definitely players that have been a long around for a long while and they've already got five kills to their name there uh, obviously, kills don't matter as much there, but taking out a squad there means that you're one, uh, you're one team closer to winning. So, 
you can't go too wrong making sure that you remove a team from the lobby and uh, it's looking like they're going to be pretty aggressive onto HSCO here in a second. Yeah, they are almost right on top of them and don't show any signs of... Uh... Oh, but they know. They've caught Marito out in the open. Oh! He looks like he's taking shots off in the opposite direction. The base blaster comes out and takes Marito. He just backs out just enough. The May shell comes and they know exactly where everyone is there. Yeah, it's looking like Marito's doing kind of everything he can to get back into this uh, game. Not in terms of having uh, to worry about uh, the threat of these uh, snipes. Um, doing a good job there using the uh, Cypher relocation orb to get to back into position there and hollow trying to do their best to look for angles here because it's going to be a t pretty tough rotate if they're uh, getting uh, shot at this whole time uh, but using the ember smokes to make sure they can get a safe rotate into um nova is definitely a good decision here and hsco uh, looking to rotate out there and actually getting shot a little bit while they rotate here um it's gonna be interesting to see if they can uh, get a safe rotate into zone there we have do hast um rotating as well potentially gonna rotate into hsco it looks like the zone looks like it's going to potentially, yes, force those into each other. We've got, only got 10 seconds left for that to happen. Uh, them coming through, Nova, as you said, but it looks like they're going to be going straight towards zone, so they might miss out on actually hitting them. They're going to come get themselves safely into zone there. Yeah, I mean, this building is definitely a high priority uh, in terms of uh, making sure that you want to secure it because you have so many different angles that you can uh, watch from, and... Uh, the different layers on it helps to make sure that your engagements aren't uh, as uh, risky. Um, but you see Duhas there, they were a little bit split and uh, one of their players getting picked off by, uh, I believe, Hollow there. Um, so not exactly what they're looking for, but going for a res, making sure they can get their team back in it. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, who manages to, to uh, kind of secure these uh, high priority areas. Like Creep's already got one of the good spots there, I'm at, I'd say. Um, but there's so many teams left alive there and Duhas getting res as well. Yeah, Creep's not really uh, moved much from that opening game. I think moved forwards one circular building, but as you said there, Hollow coming up on LFDF, LVDF, sorry. Uh, pushing them out of the building. It feels like that's what they, all they've been doing this entire game, is uh, uh, running away from people and who's mm -hmm. displacing them. <laughs> no, definitely agree. And we see Hollow here. They have a, they've currently got one of the better buildings in a zone here, but they're going to have to move out of here. It, um, and try to get, uh, you know, cover on these uh, people that are right in front of them. They, you see that there's a Duhast, uh, Duhast player, but also Darks there holding the top of the zip line, and uh, they've thankfully been scanned, so they're not playing completely without information. It looks like Dinosaur may have disconnected there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Hollow managing to get yeah, Primus Ultra as they did run, and now it's themselves who have to watch out as they get go into the tunnel. No, I'm going to have to see if, uh, if we can get the angle on here for the map. Um, getting pretty, pretty congested at this point here. Um, as you can see, Duhas losing the last player in the kill feed right there. But um, Creep still in that same spot that you mentioned earlier there, holding the zone and making sure to uh, get everything, you know, perfectly, uh, you know, positioned there. They haven't had to worry about rotating. They've just been able to watch around and just get tags on people and make it hard for other people to rotate and uh, pressure them there. Well, look who just pulled up behind them. It's almost like a reverse of that first play of the game there. Team number five is HECSO coming in and fucked. Going to have to get themselves out of the zone. That's going to be hurting a lot at this stage, but no one seems to be looking their way at the moment, so it's going to give them enough time. One of their players getting knocked there behind. Is he going to make it? Is he going to be able to get... No, he's going to... Oh, can't move there. The zone's going to hurt Ooh. far too much. <laughs> Looking like Bug gonna be out of this lobby there. Another person also having to worry is Bionics on the edge of the zone there. Uh, also having to rotate into creeps there. Definitely want, not what you want to see if you're in that situation. Uh, zero gravity using his uh, vision erosion to survive just a little bit longer. Yeah, it may well be just a little bit longer with all of creeps there jostling for just waiting for that to disperse. And he's gonna be well within the sights of them. The Yep, the shield gets cracked, and that's going to be the end for him. One player left, though, at the top of the zone there, as we see everyone moving in to this t small small area on the map. Back to... Who have we got? We've got Darks. Have we got Hollow there on the top 
right of your screen, creeps there, top left. Spartacus there with uh, LVDF there on the left. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to see Darks and Hollow. Both of those gold shields here, they're pushing up onto each other here, so we could have a, an engagement in terms of like, the um, high, uh, you know, shield players here. We saw Hive hit a really nice shot there with his bar, opening up this fight here. Um, and getting traded back here, um, playing a little bit of, too aggressive in the uh, enemy, uh, opposing enemy's uh, Emberall. Trying to use those grenades to hop himself out of mm -hmm. there, but he'd been spotted and he was too much shrouded in that darkness here. And speaking of darkness, here's Darks, as we see them pushing up onto, well, running through this building actually. Nowhere near the... Uh, the congestion at the top there. This zone gets smaller and smaller. And creeps who have been in that dominant position still got their pick of who they want to pick off. Hollow in their sights there and off to their right there. There we go, Dark. Getting the brunt of the fire. Oh, but one of their players also trading, getting traded back on there. Lena Whopper losing a lot of HP. They've got five kills to their name there. They're doing a great job of just being an overseeing, uh, uh, you know, position there and uh, causing so much damage there. We see HSCO uh, playing in the middle there. They've lost almost all their players. It's just down to Ravenga. So it's looking like the main teams left alive with three players are going to be hollow and creeps right now. Um, LVDF having two alive, one person only knocked on their team there. Um, who do you think is going to come out on top of this list here? I am going to say that potentially Creeps has got it, but as I say that, a lot of damage is coming down onto them. CEO's Ravenga may get it, but Bionic, they, the two solos are in the building together trading, and he gets knocked out of that. So now we are down to that final four teams left in this final circle. Could it be Creeps? No, Whopper getting knocked there. A hollow Guxzona, and that's actually them taken out, having hold that position for so long. And there we go down to three. Yeah, we still see that uh, HSCO, LVDF, still having a chance to win this game here. We saw Chicken Lock lose a little bit of HP in that engagement, but uh, neither team have, really having a chance to capitalize on that there. LVDF looking for a chance to heal and make sure that they can contest that there. But they th might think this is almost a 3v3 here, now knowing that they've uh, uh, seen two players. And uh, we see the King Wolf there trying to disengage and uh, stay alive a little bit longer there. Uh, and we see uh, Ravenga there also, unfortunately, taking a lot of damage from the base blaster. Probably not going to survive this one here. They go in. The Emerald comes out. Do get them through. Oh, managing to take out one there, but no, unfortunately not there. Um, that's going to be HSCO going down in third place here. LVDF with a soul left alive in invisibility. Let's take a look and see how. Professional player clutches this out in a 1v3 here. Almost had a chance with that shot. He did almost, and it's uh, coming after him. He's gonna get out the AK, and is it gonna be a Ooh. triumphant moment for King Wolf? No, he's not the king on this game. Hollow, take the first qualifier of this. Surely that's through to the final there, Joshua. Of yeah. This, the end of this, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That was so good to see there. Sunday, Saturday. Final one going down to, you know, pretty tiny zone last uh, for the last little uh, bit there. We had uh, Hollow coming out on top there. That's going to be Phoenix um, doing an amazing job there. Um, you know, just uh, making sure to secure the building that they need to. They push up into creeps towards the end there. And that was kind of their biggest threat. And once they did that, it was uh, uh, kind of a wrap for uh, the enemy team there. Or just the rest of the lobby, I'd say. Yeah, like you said, they saw them once they'd once they'd knocked them out of the lobby. They thought of well, they descended down upon everyone, not really fearing what was to come with that other two teams there. And there was just that three, and they wiped through them. Unfortunately, King Wolf unable to trade back. All are doing a very impressive job there in terms of kills. There, obviously, the kills don't really matter as much in uh, the uh, best of one qualifiers, um, but. Obviously, it still indicates kind of how they'll do in the finals. And obviously, um, 18 kills is just overwhelming to see. Uh, definitely super impressive uh, showing from them this week. And uh, it's going to be super exciting to see how they can uh, do in future weeks. Um, Lister, before we get into the final stats, however, though, I think we've got something to release in chat, don't we? 
I think we do. If anyone's feeling a little bit diamond poor, you're gonna want to uh, you're gonna want to hear what this is that we've got next. Yeah, I posted in chat there, guys. Um, uh, I'm not gonna read out the code because it's a lot of letters and it's just gonna sound silly if I say it all. But that's the redeem code there. If you redeem that one in game, there you're gonna get uh, yourself uh, 20 diamonds and I believe 900 uh, and 99 gold coins. So um, take advantage of that one there. Get yourself a little bit closer to the battle pass. You know, have a little bit more diamonds is never a bad thing. So. Um, definitely a you know a chance to use that and uh, make sure that you share it with your friends there as well because um, you know there's no point sense uh, letting it go to waste right listener not at all i'm already sharing it as we speak actually if someone's in my clans just <laughs> put it in my discord chat so <laughs> perfect perfect that's exactly what we like to see um but let's take a look at these uh these final results here we can kind of get a breakdown of how uh these teams managed to fare in this match uh, just kind of based off their kills and uh how uh, deep they made it into this match. Uh, obviously, Hollow doing an amazing job there. Just so much damage and uh, kills between them. Um, but as you can see, in terms of second and third, it wasn't quite as much of a um, dominant showing, but uh, more of a situation of just kind of staying alive and uh, getting a little bit of damage out there. Would you agree? Yeah. Well, we had uh, LVDF had really bad start didn't they they were almost on the back foot from that that beginning but as you said the kills aren't going to be mattering in this and with the um, respawners in the game but as well that they're coming in when the circle comes in you're going to see teams are sort of hold off so kills not going to be as as important for them <laughs> um hs ceo also there in third who another team who can pull the numbers on the kills <laughs> but um a sort of played a little bit more passively, came back around to the, so playing in the same sort of area and came back around. It makes sense. So like you said, uh, when you have, a, you know, only a certain amount of uh, chances to qualify for the uh, actual finals, uh, making sure that you uh, capitalize on and get this as much placement as you can, um, even if it's in exchange for kills, is definitely going to be so ideal because uh, for HSCO there, um, a third place is almost for sure locked them up a position in the finals there. So they're probably feeling pretty great about themselves there. And another team also probably feeling pretty great based off of their performances. Creeps there. They had a good position almost the whole match there and uh, managed to uh, get eight kills uh, from that position. So um, definitely super impressive. And uh, they, they did a really good job. And it's uh, good, to, uh, good to see an EU uh, team representing themselves in the, uh, you know, you know, the uh, Sunday Saturday, uh, even though it's in the NA region, um, with a little bit of a higher, higher ping there. Yeah, Zona must have been um, a feeling himself today. After I think he probably played in his own event as well, and uh, came through and got fourth there for him, himself as well. Yeah, and as we go down the list, there we see Bionic with four kills as a duo. They're definitely probably feeling pretty great about that as a, as a duo for sure. Um, getting that many kills is uh, definitely not the easiest thing to do. And then as we move down there, we have both the dark line up there in sixth and seventh. We saw them get pretty aggressive with each other. At a couple points in this match there, and uh, also just in general, we're fighting quite hard in the late game there. Um, and as we move down here, we've got the rest of our teams there. We've got Fugged, who we saw, I th believe, fight against um, Hollow there at one point, um, but I don't quite remember when they actually went down uh, uh, as their full stack there. I think she was Fugged the ones was it with the the bow. They got caught in that mm. that ember ult, that vision erosion. Yep. I think. I th no, that does seem to does seem to add up to me there. And then as we go down the list, there obviously um, the teams, the rest of the teams, not having as great of a series as they'd hoped, but still getting some place uh, qualifying points there. Um, even as as a twelfth place position there, I believe you still get either two or three points there. So um, definitely feeling pretty good about that. And um, for you know the teams that uh, didn't perform as well as they hoped, so. Um, they're still going to have uh, two more weeks to uh, keep, you know, trying to qualify. And uh, hopefully for next week's, um, we'll have a little bit more of a, a turnout uh, as this week it was a little bit. Um, I didn't do as much of uh, advertising as I kind of hoped I was going to be able to. I was a little bit busier this week. So hopefully next week I can make sure that everyone remembers that the tournament is happening and we can have a great showing. And uh, hopefully that will mean that we have uh, an even better finals because we've already got uh, $80 in terms of... Uh, contributions contribute to the prize pool and uh i've got uh, one already confirmed on the side of uh cave mobile games they're going to be supporting the prize pool for 30 dollars, and then also um gogulet from uh, team bionic is uh going to be uh supporting 
for about fifty dollars there as well. So um, you can expect at least eighty dollars in terms of the prize pool for uh, the grand finals on the seventh, and hopefully we can get uh, you know even more in terms of uh, prize pool from the community. Uh, it's been awesome to see the support we've been re uh, getting, and uh, I'm really hoping we can make this uh, event uh, you know as big as possible, and hopefully something that we can run as consistently as possible, and uh, and all that kind of stuff there. Because um, honestly, casting and uh, broadcasting these matches is just so fun, isn't it, Lister? It is. It's getting to know everybody in there. I mean, we if just talking of of casting. I want to see as as chapters there, BBLs and Cave in here, as you said. So yep. these teams are going to have more chances to actually play. So when is it the actual next qualifier? Just so everyone or anyone in chat needs to know will be there next time. Yeah, so uh, you can take a look on the screen there. I brought up the uh, bit of a graphic there for Sunday Saturday. Um, obviously today, August 17th is qualifier one, but next week, uh, same same time, you'll uh, see the, uh, it's gonna be qualifier number two. Um, that starts about three hours and 15 minutes ago. That's the actual start of the tournament time there. So, uh, you know, figure out what that would be mean in terms of your time there. It's called PST, PST. Um, that helps uh, as well. Um, but uh, make sure that you're there. It's earlier time than the rest of the tournament. So you got to make sure that you kind of take a new day around it. Uh, uh, that you uh, Obviously, since it is a weekend, it isn't as much of an issue with school as work. Uh, so you don't want to miss your chance to qualify for this uh, event. You know, you're going to get cash. You're going to get uh, broadcasted on uh, Legends uh, stream, as well as also having a chance to win uh, some of that. Sounds good. So if anyone, there you go. You've got the time and date, and I I want to see you there, and I'll be casting your kills. Or maybe you'll be getting taken out. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, we have, uh, for um, obviously, August 24th is the next qualifier, though. Um, one thing to consider for that one there is that um, you should also consider playing some of the um, EU events as well. Um, earlier this morning, I was playing in the Zona Game Finals, and uh, that's on the same day, so... You can kind of, uh, if, you, if you've if you managed to call for that, you can kind of have a, not really a full day of uh, Farlight, but, uh, you know, a good session of it there. And uh, it's always good practice there as well. Um, and then also tomorrow we've got uh, both the Legend Scrims NA and EU finals there. So uh, if, you're, if you haven't, qual if you've qualified for those, um, obviously some of the best practice that you can get. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's what you got to do to make sure that you're ready for the actual grand finals uh, Sunday, Sunday, Saturday. Sunday, Saturday. It's so sad that we're not doing this on Sunday. I really should have, because then we could have had Sunday, Sunday and things would have been Sunday, Sunday. perfect. <laughs> yeah. But uh, <laughs> we, we, we take what we've got. We're working with what we got. And uh, obviously, Sunday, Saturday is still pretty amazing. And obviously, everyone having a great job, doing a great job of uh, showing out here today. And uh, if you guys haven't, make sure that you use that redeem code that we uh, released in chat. I'm going to post it one more time, just so you have a chance if you missed it there. Um, but we thank you so much for tuning in, watching the stream um and uh, supporting us and all that good stuff because we're going to be here next week as, just as well so um make sure that you don't miss that uh any final words there from you lister uh well see you all next time same place same time that's that's all there is to say i think yeah no sounds good all right guys well thank you so much for watching see you guys next week and i hope you all have an amazing rest of your day So blue, see the birds fly at a touch to the view. Spend a lot of time trying to make a lot true. Staring through your eyes, trying to find the real you. <laughs> but to you, I thought I knew. I would give the world, it'd just be us two. Everything I swirled, ain't got trust to dance you. Never saw the signs in the year I got screwed. But I don't ever hold grudges. God's the only one with the right to go and judge us. Try to make it work, try to run with two crutches. Love at least to hurt when you roll with the punch.
Once lost, now found. Little birds set me free. Taught me the game, now I'm chasing victory. From the concrete jungle, fighting to break a chains. Little birds guidance, help me conquer the pain. From the darkness to light, little birds show me the way. Shun down to fears, it's a brand new day. Uh, I spread my wings, soaring high above the rest. Forever grateful, little bird, my true zest. Little bird, you told me how to dream. 